Hi friends, welcome to Karen's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make a basic nori roll. And the beauty of a nori roll is you can take everything that you have in your refrigerator and put it together and have a sandwich for work the next day. This is what we call the California roll. I actually originally made this in Jamaica. Years and years ago, they brought in the top 10 raw food chefs in the country into Jamaica. We had so much fun. And I don't know why I'm from Chicago, but I called it the California roll. Anyway, this is my delicious almond pate, one of the first things I made about 35, 40 years ago when I first got started on the raw um, train here and raw journey, when I first got started on my raw journey. It's available, the recipe, in my cookbook on page 50, but we have a YouTube up for it also, so it's so easy. You could use any nut. I used almonds. Now, nori, one of my favorite seaweeds, tons of vitamin C and paba and all these wonderful uh, B12. It's got a lot of good stuff in it for you. So we're going to use a nori sheet. Now, I've got this little roller here but you can make it without the roller maybe we'll make one with the roller and one without the roller just to show you how simple it is so when i'm making my california rolls i usually put the dry stuff in first because that way it will last a little bit longer if the wet stuff is directly on the nori it'll make it kind of soft and mushy so i'm just going to use some alfalfa sprouts and we'll just pretend this is the rice you know this is like sushi yeah that's it this is sushi so this is the rice um, the almond pate will be our version of what the fish would be. Put a generous amount on there like that on top. And then anything else you want to add, you could add some shredded carrots, add a little color to it. Red pepper, good for the skin and the hair. And I add fat avocado to everything. I'm just going to make these a little skinnier. We'll add some avocado. Oops. All right. And even your friends that don't like seaweed, this is a great way to get it in because you don't really taste the seaweed. I don't know, we could pretend it's something else. All right, now what I like to do just for the kind of beauty of it is take a few sunflower sprouts, very high in protein and calcium, and we'll stick them on the end. Just look kind of pretty when they hang out. Actually, we need them with longer stems on them. Okay, we'll put a few in there. Now, we're going to pick up our mat, and you're going to smush it all in very tight. See, you're going to get it in very, very tight. And now we're going to, oops, now we're going to roll. There we go. And I just made a delicious sandwich for tomorrow. I'm going to take a little moisture and dampen this on the end so that it holds together. And this is a wonderful lunch tomorrow. Okay, let's plate it and taste it. And you'll get to work tomorrow and everybody will go, what is that you're eating? It looks so delicious. See all the beautiful colors in there, how it all comes together? So let's plate it. Mm -hmm. Do one standing up. Two standing up. And two, lying down comfortably. So here we have our California roll. And if you're not in the mood to cook tonight, you can always come by Karen's Fresh Corner at 1901 North Halstead in Chicago and pick up one. We always have it made. Guess what? You're going to get a bonus on this um, YouTube. I'm going to give you a little bonus. I'm going to use my mat again. I'm going to use the seaweed because I'm going to show you one other quick trick that we do. I do in my kitchen regularly. Do you know what I do? I don't throw anything away. So you know that salad that you had last night that's kind of mushy and soft? 
You can take that salad. We're going to use the um, alfalfa again for rice. This is really, you're going to love this idea, folks. And you know what? I'm just using what I got here. Let's use some of these crunchy sprouts here. Make them a little easier to eat. I'm going to chop them up a little bit. Take the seeds out. I'm going to put that in for the crunchiness. And then I'm going to take my leftover sweet spinach salad and put that in there also. Look at that. So save your salads from the night before. It can become part of your lunch the next day or even your dinner. I'm going to put a little bit of the almond pate in there too. This is such a great idea, folks. I promise you. This is one of my favorites. Or I take the salad and dehydrate it. I don't throw anything away. All right, let's once again, let's push it all together. Okay, oops. And this is just something I would just wrap some saran wrap around it or paper and take it for my lunch the next day. And it's just leftover food. Should I bite this for you now? I'll try. Mm. That's a bonus. <laughs> 